Hey, welcome back. So we're going to continue talking about um, other arachnids today. And we're going to start with this little cluster of babies here. Babies. So this is one of my favorite species. This is known as a Tanzanian tailless whip scorpion. They are so cute. Oh, yeah. So we had just talked about whip scorpions. Tailless whip scorpions are something different. So they're very similar um, in their form. They have these, uh, their first pair of legs is modified into feeler-like organs, except they're much longer in this species. And actually, to say that correctly, they're much longer in this order. So tailless whip scorpions are another unique arachnid order um, known to us as amblypygy, while the whip scorpions we talked about before, like vinegaroons, are thelophonida. For those of you who want to know, some jargon. Science. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> So another big difference is that these don't have any chemical defenses or venom. They're totally harmless. The only thing they can do to you is pinch with their pedipalps, which um, really doesn't do a whole lot. They rarely use that defense. They'd much rather run. And as you can see here, they're very fast. Hmm? Ooh, very fast and very long. Oh, and yeah. also no tail. Yep. <laughs> and um, yeah, these are predators, just like uh, most other arachnids. And they just wait and will just lunge out at anything that comes close to their little arms. So cute. Okay, so these are the babies. Mm -hmm. And now I'm very excited for who's in here because this is a very special relationship to those little babies. Yeah, so this is Big Papa. This is the Papa. Isn't this so yeah. cute? So this is a full grown Tanzanian tailless whip scorpion. Not as vibrant in color, but an impressive arachnid nonetheless. Let's see if we can get him to. There so beautiful. Yeah. And so can... where do these guys normally live? Do they like to live on trees? Yeah. So actually you find them on trees, inside of uh, dead trees. Sometimes you'll find them on little uh, cliffs, like in washes and stuff oh, and caves. Cool. Um, yeah, they're found anywhere with vertical surfaces, pretty much. So cool. Mm -hmm. They are just so beautiful. What's they call them? They really remind me of um, little crabs. Uh oh. Oh yeah, especially how they walk sideways. Uh, yeah. Ooh, hi. Yep, and these are a little less uh, prone to damage if they drop. In okay. fact, I've never seen one fall before. They're very good at clinging on since they spend most of their lives on trees and on vertical surfaces. So cool. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that when you were pulling this guy out, he's like very good. He's like break dancing. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. I know, they're just adorable. Oh my goodness. Mm. I wore a white shirt today so you could see, <laughs> oh, you can see the bugs. <laughs> Oh yeah. my gosh, little crab. And if crab. it looks familiar to you, um, I believe they had a CGI version of this in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And they were practicing... Uh, oh, that's right. Cruciatus curses on it. Oh my Poor goodness, thing. look, it's so good at climbing. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And if you have any bugs on your back, we'll snatch them up for you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, next week, we'll be continuing with arachnids, yep. I believe. And I'm really excited for these ones, but also maybe a little nervous because some the little ones tend to scare me, but oh. the big ones I love. You'll have to join us next week to figure out what it is that we're going to be talking about.